Hey, what's going on? I want to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to create a simple uh, RSS campaign in MailChimp. This is really important if you are going to have a subscription button for your blog on your website, something like Squarespace or WordPress, for example. If somebody signs up for your newsletter to be updated when you release new blog posts. So let's go ahead and log into MailChimp right quick. And all we need to do is click on the campaign section in the top left hand corner of your screen. And we're just going to go ahead and create a new campaign. And one of the first screens you get is what kind of campaign do you want to send. Uh, RSS campaign. RSS is a real simple syndication. And essentially what this is is a little uh, feed that comes from your blog posts or your blog on your website. And this allows um, other programs and software such as MailChimp to be notified when you launch or publish a new post. So we're going to go ahead and just choose RSS campaign and select that and you're going to need to put your feed URL. So if you don't know it, you can actually just type in your domain name and I'm going to just type in beefymarketing.com and I don't really know it, but what, something else you can do, I'm going to open another tab here and kind of give you a trick. Typically if you can go to your website name and just forward slash feed is typically where it exists and we'll just double check and there you go. You can tell it's a little awkward code looking stuff right here but that's what it's gonna look like so we'll just copy this code and we'll copy this link and we'll go ahead and put that over here and we can now tell it when to send so I'm gonna say I want you to send every week personally this is what I would do every week Monday at 9 a.m. and essentially what this will do is it'll send an email every week on Monday at 9 o'clock but only if there's been new content so if I didn't publish a new post um, this week, somebody wouldn't get an email from me Monday. They'll only get an email on Mondays that I've actually published new content. Now, obviously, you can adjust this to be whatever's best for you and your audience. Um, you might even want to do every day, especially if you're not going to have a um, consistent editorial calendar and you might have posts kind of all over the place. Um, so we'll do that. And then we might also turn off some days that you know you don't want to bother your client. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the weekend, you know, and maybe even Monday because I know that my engagement might be a little lower on Mondays because people are just getting back into the office. Um, these are some other options real quick, you know, that you can kind of decide whether or not you want to use or not. I'll go ahead and enable this. This is resizing the images to fit your template. This ensures that images that are coming from your website that are pulling in from your blog will look good in the email list. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. And next we've got to pick the list in which you want to send this to. So what you'll have done when you have integrated you know, your form into your website is you'll have designated where um, that those form entries would go. You would have chosen a list. So I'll just choose um, local business. You know, Again, this is our test account. And it's got you know the entire list. Those are our little 19 recipients that are in that test list here. And we'll go ahead and click next. And we'll give it a campaign name. I'm just going to go ahead and put you know um, blog updates. And this is for internal use only. Uh, email subjects. So these are nice, smart um, tags that are pulling in. So essentially, posts from Beefy Marketing for said date. Uh, from name, I'll change this to be Beefy Marketing. And from email address info at Beefy, you can decide which one of these you want to keep on and off. And I'll go ahead and move forward to the next screen. And now we've got the ability to pick a template. So you've got, you know, basic where you can kind of really just customize it to be really whatever you want it to be. Um, you've got some, you know, themes of ones that people have already done before. So you might want to type in RSS and see if there's any really cool RSS themes that have been done in the past. Those look nice. Um, in my case, I'm going to go with basic and I'm going to just choose basic RSS. So I'll select that. And now what you've got is the ability to... Um, create some custom, you know, kind of the, the way you want it to look. So you might want to, you know, add an image um, from your computer, maybe something you've already uploaded, you know, in the past. I'll just select this to give you guys an example. And I'm going to go into settings here and I'm going to say edge to edge. I really want it to have a full, you know, co cohesive look here. And, you know, you've got the ability to, you know, make some additional changes and obviously you can go as far you know or not as far as you want depending on you know how fancy you want to get here um, obviously we could change the page background if we wanted to be more like a black or dark gray or maybe the blue from our logo whatever makes sense for your brand you can kind of change this to make sense for you um, so we'll save that and essentially what this is going to do now is this is the RSS data 
it's going to start pulling in. So it's going to just automatically um, pull in full content titles only, excerpts or custom. So you can actually control what people see. Um, in this case, I'll do full content um, because I want them to see the entire post in the email. Now, for you, you might actually want to just show um, an excerpt, and that's fine too. An excerpt's only going to show them a part of the post, um, which would be good if you want to give them just a preview of it and have them click out and go to your website. Now, that's really important when you want to drive traffic, and obviously that's really great for SEO. So I'll just go ahead and save and close out. I'm not going to make many more changes in this example here. And we'll just go to the next screen, and this will confirm our campaign. We can make some changes if we want. You've got the ability to enable social cards. Um, if I wanted to turn these on, basically if somebody were to share it on Facebook, this is what it would share. I could say, you know, um, weekly blog updates and um, practical tips for entrepreneurs. And I'll just go ahead and save and close that. And then... Uh, so obviously right here it gave us a little error that we've got so we're going to go ahead and click resolve and it looks like we've got some dummy content in there that needs to be pulled out so we've got our header style we're going to just go basic and here we've got this set to excerpts save and close that and I don't see any other dummy text here so we'll just have to kind of see what it's telling us we're doing wrong and it looks like Oh, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> right here at the very top of our design, you have the ability to control a little preview of what somebody says. So uh, we're going to just click weekly um, updates from the Beefy Marketing blog. And again, you can kind of make this say whatever you want. There's a quick little preview somebody might see. Um, you can always just do this inner preview mode. It's a really nice feature because you can see what it would look like when somebody looks at it. So this is a great way to see if the way you've designed it and the options you've chosen are going to work for you. So really nice. It just has our logo. It has our tagline. You know, it has our graphic here. It's got, you know, the title of a latest post. And you click read on, and that would actually then take somebody on to that specific page of your site. So that's really nice. So now that we've got that header information fixed, I'm going to be go ahead and confirm this. And looks like everything's right now, and we'll click Start RSS. Um, and the nice thing here um, is that from now on, whenever we release a new blog post, they'll automatically get emails, which is really, really great. We don't have to ever come and mess with this again. We can always edit it if we wanted to or make tweaks to our design or make changes like that. The nice thing is from now on, when you make any blog post, it'll automatically send out an update to your to your list to all the people on your email list um, telling them that you've released a new post and they'll be able to see um, all of that without you ever having to worry about it which is really really important when it comes to you know utilizing those email addresses the way you should I hope this was helpful uh, we'll be releasing new marketing tips every week have a great day